Ay, ay, foot on the gas, foot on the gas. Living too fast, living too woke. It's not where you been, nah, nah. Boy, where you at? Don't tell me relax, nah. I keep it a stack, yeah. You said you got me, no. I watch my own back, ay. All right, well that actually worked like surprisingly well. I only got stuck between those two trees once and I kind of had to like bend the frame a bunch, but it actually worked. And as you can see, this thing's like half broke, so I don't know how that's gonna go. This little leg is pretty bent, but I mean, don't really need that anyways. Now I just need to get this out of the way and move this as close to this little cliff as I can. I'm thinking like right here and then it's a pretty steep drop, and then once it gets in the water, it's like a really steep drop. We did sink a fridge down there, so hopefully I don't like die on it whenever I jump in, but it should be alright. And if you haven't figured out already, well, I had to move this because we're building a shop where it was, so I just decided to take the net off and put it like right here, and maybe it'll actually get used and, you know, land in there. And boom, I got it into place. Some people would say that it's pretty sketchy. I mean, it's at a bit of an angle and that side of the trampoline isn't even, you know, on the ground. But I mean, whatever. I do have a stake right there, so this thing won't, I don't know, like get picked up in a tornado or something. I put some rocks right there, but as you can see, they're not really doing anything. But if you get like sort of a running start, and jump right here, I mean, you'd land like right, right there. And I'm pretty sure that's about like six feet deep. So, I mean, there's only one thing left to do. Alrighty, well, it's like three days later. The video kind of got like cut short because, well, one, the hurricane hit us, so I couldn't really like go outside my house. And two, I didn't want to jump on this thing. Yes, well, as you can see, it's broke. But the hurricane's gone, and the new trampoline mat is in this box right here. So, I'm going to bust it open tonight, and then tomorrow, hopefully, be able to jump on it. Jeez. I dropped my knife and look at how it landed. Anyways, I really don't know if this thing's gonna fit. I kinda just guessed, but hopefully I get lucky. It's a bit later and uh, well as you can see the old mats back on long story short I took like forever to try to get the new mat on and I ended up getting it on But it was like super loose and all messed up because I kind of bought the wrong one So yeah, that kind of sucks and then I just ended up putting this old one back on and uh, well I guess I'm just gonna deal with this and uh, Use this until the whole thing rips or I fall through that and like break my neck or something But whatever today. I'm gonna jump off this thing
I'm a little bit... Gee, shut up, crows. I swear, I'm gonna go crow hunting at the end of this video. All right, I'm a little nervous, but I think I'm gonna try a double front flip. No idea how this is gonna go. All right. Here goes nothing. Alright, a bit of change of plans. It's like 7 o'clock now. As you can see, the sun's like basically gone. There's the moon. Got like 30 minutes left of daylight. And I'm actually going to try to call in a crow. I wasn't kidding earlier, but I got this call right here that I've only ever used for coyotes and coons. So, I got that. I got the old Remington and three shells. And also... I'm wearing this. I know crows can see really good and it'd be best if I was basically like bunched up in the woods right there or something. But this is basically just a test to see if they'll actually come to the call because I have no idea what's going to happen. I mean if one gets right about 10 yards from me, I'm going to smack him. But we'll try to see what happens. Alrighty, I'm going to get camped up right here. Alright, uh, this view right here. This is... All I'm really going to be shooting, because I don't really want to be shooting up that way at all. So right here. And hopefully they'll come from there, maybe over me, and I'll shoot them right in there. Oh. And I mean, like I was saying earlier, I've been hearing crows all day. Like right now, y'all probably can't hear it, but I hear a couple straight that direction, so... I mean, honestly, I might get one. I have no idea. That says crow right there. It's blinking crow. And also, oh shoot, dude, I'm covering ants. Alrighty, I'm going to turn it on. I forgot how to use this. Shoot, do y'all hear that? That happened so insanely fast. I just dropped one. He's about 20 yards in front of me. I'll give you all a little rundown, and then I'm trying to shoot another one. So, one comes up, land, lands in that tree. I was going to snipe him, but I heard you're not supposed to shoot the first one because it's like, you know, the scout crow. And then three more fly right over there, and then one flies right here, and I bop him right there. I didn't even have, like, a good, like, stable hold on my gun. And he is right there. All right. We'll get them in a little bit. I don't know if they'll come back, but I'm gonna turn this thing right on. <gasps> All right, I just called for about 10 minutes straight, nothing came back. I don't think they're coming back, and it's getting dark. And honestly, I kinda wanna like save the crow. I don't wanna like snipe all the crows in this area, just like tonight, cause that was so much fun and that worked so well. I want to make like tons more videos on that. So I'm going to go over here, check out the one crow that I did manage to get. Look, there's still a feather floating down right here. 